Hi, I'm Suresh Kohler, and if you get on Unacademy, you can follow me on Unacademy Learning App, where you can find my other courses as well. And this lesson is about idioms and phrases. Please do not forget to rate, review, and share this video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's all for free. We are educating the world for free. So please come up. Let's subscribe our YouTube channel, Unacademy. Thank you very much. and this is my profile and here's the link where you can follow me up so please do not forget to follow me on this link and find all my courses there also shoot all your questions any doubt any query which you are having in your mind just shoot that in the comment box below okay so moving on let's start let's continue with the idioms and phrases so here we have a very interesting i would say very very interesting idiom and that is catch 22 situation now what do i mean by catch 22 situation it actually means that i'm talking about a situation in which you need to do first thing before doing second but you cannot do the first thing because you have not done the second it's like if you want to do some task if you want to do second task then you will have to do first task now well, that's okay but if you want to do first task then you cannot do the first task before doing the second one it's like this for doing second task you need to do the first task but you cannot do the first task without doing second it's like this pehla karna hai to uske liye dusra karna zaruri hai aur agar dusra wala kaam karna hai to uske liye pehla karna zaruri hai so it's a sort of impossible situation okay it's a hypothetical impossible situation which is not possible you cannot do it like very common example which you have for this situation is all jobs need experience but i can get experience only when i do the job now it is actually a catch 22 situation when i'm going to get a job when i am applying in different companies as a fresher then they are just asking me that you, you should have some experience okay but i can only have the experience when i just do the job so i cannot get the job without experience and i cannot get the experience without the job so it's a impossible condition it's a impossible situation so that is something which is like catch 22 situation i hope the things are pretty clear now okay so moving on the next one is a quite simple one that is on cloud 9 and we use this phrase when we are in the state of extreme happiness or the person which uh, whom i am talking about is in the state of extreme happiness he is very happy something very good has just happened to him and he is right now you know very happy violence baj raha you know violence baj raha uske dil mein dimag mein so when this is a situation when this is a condition then i can use the phrase on cloud 9 so in the state of extreme happiness like for example he has just got a promotion now you can just understand yourself now if you have got a promotion then in which state of happiness you would be you can just yourself understand that so yes he has got the promotion he is on cloud 9 right now okay isn't it moving on the next one is poles apart yeah we very frequently use this phrase uh, that is poles apart now what does it mean now it's quite self explanatory it means that when we are talking about different individuals you know when i'm talking about two person who are very different in uh, their attitude in the way of their behaving a lot of things you know in the way they think in the way they have approach for various uh, things so in all those matters they are very different they are completely different they are completely opposite if i just say okay then in that case i would say that they are poles apart okay so very different individuals having almost nothing in common they have nothing in common they are completely different if they like if if uh, one person like uh, is things which are very slow which are very calm then the other would like things which are very fast which are very rough tough something like this so they are poles apart okay so like i can give an example for that they are poles apart how can they work together let's say you are working in a company and you are supposed to form a team of two people and uh, you just uh, give the names of two people but the other person is saying how can they work together wo kaise saath mein kaam kar sakte hain they are poles apart wo to bilkul hi different hai obviously when they have nothing in common then it would be very difficult for them to work together okay moving on the next one is leave no stone unturned now this is a phrase which you can actually use when you are uh, trying to achieve something big you know when you are trying to uh achieve your passion your goal when you are trying to uh, clear or crack any exam then obviously what you do you leave no stone unturned that means you make 
every possible effort in achieving or doing that in achieving your goal or in just cracking that exam you make every possible effort so when i'm saying leave no stone unturned then it has got nothing to do with the stones and the pebbles it means that koi kasar nahi chodi koi kasar nahi chodi it's something like that so make every possible effort in achieving or doing something now if i just want to convey that then i can simply say leave no stone unturned okay like for example i will leave no stone unturned in trying to get the funding for my company obviously it's a startup time uh, so many people are actually trying to get the funding so if you are passionate enough then you will say what you will say that i will ne- leave no stone unturned in trying to get the funding for my company मैं कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ूंगा अपनी कंपनी के लिए फंडिंग लाने में ओके द नेक्स्ट वन इज टाइम इज द बेस्ट हीलर नाउ दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच वी एक्चुअली यूज व्हेन वी वांट टू सिंपथाइज समवन जब हम किसी को दिलासा देते हैं किसी को सांत्वना देते हैं दैट टाइम वी एक्चुअली यूज दिस टाइम इज द बेस्ट हीलर व्हाट डज इट मीन इट मींस दैट वन विल फॉरगेट ऑल द इमोशनल पेन एज द टाइम पासेस यू नो वी एक्चुअली गेट अ लॉट ऑफ इमोशनल पेन्स इन डिफरेंट वेज लाइक Uh, किसी का ब्रेकअप हो जाता है समवन डाइज एंड मेनी थिंग्स एक्चुअली हैपन इन दिस लाइफ सो वी आर हर्ट इमोशनली सो फॉर दैट ऑब्वियसली वी कैन से दैट या इट टेक्स टाइम बट आफ्टर सम टाइम यू विल गेट आउट ऑफ दिस पेन तो उसको कहने के लिए वी हैव अ वे दैट इज टाइम इज द बेस्ट हीलर टाइम इज द बेस्ट हीलर इट विल हील एवरी थिंग दे इज नो पेन विच टाइम कैन नॉट हील सब कुछ सारे जख्म टाइम भर देता है वक्त के साथ सब कुछ भर जाता है ओके लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव आई नो यू आर हर्ट एंड कैन नेवर पॉसिबली लव अगेन बट टाइम इज द बेस्ट हीलर या देर आर टाइम्स वेन यू आर हर्ट इमोशनली इन सच अ वे दैट यू फील दैट आई विल नॉट डू दिस थिंग अगेन इन माई लाइफ एवर बट दैट इज एक्चुअली द हीट ऑफ द मूवमेंट वो उस समय की बात होती है यू जस्ट स्पीक इट आउट बिकॉज यू आर इन पेन अ लॉट ऑफ पेन ओके बट वॉट आई कैन से टू यू दैट टाइम इज द बेस्ट हीलर डोंट वरी वक्त सारे जख्म भर देता है ओके सो दीज आर दिस इज हाउ यू कैन जस्ट यूज दिस ईडियम एज वेल द नेक्स्ट इज ऑल दैट ग्लेटर्स इज नॉट गोल्ड नाउ दिस इज वेरी कॉमन दैट मीन्स नॉट एवरीथिंग दैट लुक्स प्रीशियस और ट्रू टर्न्स आउट टू बी सो हर चमकने वाली चीज सोना नहीं होती दैट मीन्स हर एक वो चीज जो यू नो इट इज जस्ट लुकिंग आउट टू बी वेरी ग्रेट वेरी गुड इज नीड नॉट टू बी यू नो दैट गुड फ्रॉम इंटरनली उतनी अच्छी नहीं भी हो सकती है ओके सो दैट एक्चुअली मीन्स ऑल दैट ग्लेटर्स इज नॉट गोल्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल शी लुक्स लाइक अ स्वीट लिटिल लैम्प बट आई नो वॉट शी एक्चुअली इज ऑल दैट ग्लेटर्स इज नॉट गोल्ड ऑब्वियसली वेन आई एम सेंग स्वीट लिटिल लेम देन आई एम एक्चुअली सेंग दैट वेरी शी इज वेरी स्वीट शी इज वेरी इनोसेंट ओके बट यू आर सेंग टू मी आई नो वॉट शी एक्चुअली इज दैट मीन्स शी इज नॉट एक्चुअली वॉट शी लुक्स ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन यूज ऑल दैट ग्लेटर्स इज नॉट गोल्ड हर चमकने वाली चीज सोना नहीं होती सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस लेक्चर वील बी टेकिंग सम मोर इंटरेस्टिंग ईडियम्स इन फ्रेस इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर थैंक यू वेरी मच दिस इज सोयश गोयल साइनिंग ऑफ